there were many who wanted to set the tinderbox alight. It has again exploded. Counter-revolution. As night fell, after hours of street fighting, Tahrir Square was lit by dozens of Molotov cocktails. Most were thrown by pro-Mubarak supporters and allegedly plain-clothed policemen trying to get into the stronghold of the anti-Mubarak protesters. But they built barricades, threw whatever they could lay their hands on, and they pushed the pro-Mubarak men back. The army stayed on the sidelines or inside their armoured vehicles. For hours, there were no ambulances seen at all. A mosque near the square was used as a makeshift hospital. There were hundreds of people injured. By mid-evening, ambulances had shown up and the injuries kept coming. The electricity was cut on part of the Nile Bridge, but a night vision lens caught a pro-Mubarak crowd being forced to retreat across it. The violence during the day was also intense and played out in the complete absence of the police. The state's first duty is to protect its citizens. Instead, the state vanished and violence filled the vacuum. Tim Marshall, Sky News, Cairo.